Before the opening bell, U.S. indices under pressure on Wednesday with the Dow posting its fourth largest point drop of all time pressured by shares in banks, automobiles and components in energy sectors. Now the yield on the benchmark 10-year Treasury note breaking below the two-year rate, an event that has been a reliable indicator of economic recessions. While on the economic docket, import prices rising 0.2% month over month in July, export prices increasing 0.2%. All as 99% of S&P 500 constituents traded lower yesterday. Now, after the markets closed, Agilent Technologies reporting third quarter EPS of 76 cents versus 67 cents in the previous year on net revenue of $1.27 billion. Cisco announcing fourth quarter adjusted EPS of 83 cents from 70 cents a year ago on revenue of $13.43 billion while turning overseas. Asian markets, they were mixed today. The Nikkei down 1.28%, the Hang Seng up three quarters of a percent. China's CSI 300 rising 0.31%, South Korea's KOSB rising 0.65%. European markets are losing ground and futures calling for a negative start. Now in terms of expectations today, we have Walmart, Nvidia and Applied Materials. While on the economic dock at 8.30 in the morning, we have the fully fed manufacturing index, both initial and continuing jobless claims figures, July retail sales figures and second quarter non-farm productivity. Meanwhile, 9.15, we have industrial production for July. And 10 o'clock in the morning, the housing market index for August, as well as business inventories. Now, taking a look at the markets, the S&P 500 is where we begin. That sees the downside prevail, and it's also in focus. The relative strength index is bearish and calls for further downside. Short positions below 28.70 are favored, with targets at 28.10 and 27.90 in extension. The Nasdaq sees the downside prevail, while the Dow Jones sees its key resistance 25,745.